uh, this video is about this bridge port uh, that I converted into a CNC machine and I uh, put a lot of work into it, a lot of time, I lost a lot of money, but I want to share some experiences that I hope you guys will learn from it. Uh, firstly, I want to start with the history of this machine. So I bought this machine for $750 at an auction. It was a was called a true trace. So uh, over here were hydraulic uh, ramps or hydraulic pistons. Uh, there were no motors, no way you could control it by hand. It was all done hydraulically. And what how it worked pretty much? You it had a second head. Uh, sorry, here on this side it had a second head uh, with a little probe. And that probe, what you do is you put a little piece here, and that probe would touch the piece and move the hydraulic motors pretty much creating a perfect copy so that's what the true trace system was all right it was a uh, pretty much a uh, old school CNC machine right you create a, a copy of what you want or a model of what you want and it make copies of that over and over so let me show you the conversions I did to convert it into a CNC machine that way I could control it by uh, electric uh, electronics and stepper motors so firstly, I want to talk about the uh, software. So I am using uh, Linux CNC, and as you see, it works really well. Um, it's back and forth, up and down. And uh, most of this, I mean, in terms of hardware, is uh, pretty simple. Um, I'm just using some brackets and then some plates. Uh, most important thing is use a very thick steel so that uh, there's no flex and um, you know backlash, I suppose you could say. So I'm just using ball screws. Uh, these are um, slow Newton meter uh, closed uh, loops uh, stepper motors. So this is actually a stepper motor, but it has an encoder here, and with this electronics, it actually uh, measures if there's any loss in position, and it'll um, compensate for it. So it's a very, very good um, and very, very strong um, motors. It's very important to have uh, strong motors. Even these motors are considered a little weak uh, for a bridge uh, for you know, a knee uh, mill like this, but it works, it does the job fine. Uh, it cuts steel well, it, you know, it just whenever you uh, wanna traverse, it just it won't go, you know, it just gotta wait a couple seconds. Um, this part was the hardest that I had to do um, because there's two uh, the modifications I had to do. Firstly, I had to connect this to the uh, Z, uh, actual Z axis, or uh, sorry, there's a gear that uh, goes to the middle, um, and that gear connected to a screw on the uh, hydraulic piston, but then the hydraulic piston was actually what moved up and down. The screw was simply to adjust the height so that you know you, you got the height that you wanted. Um, otherwise, the piston did most of the job, so I had to not not only do this thing, connect this to this, which really isn't wasn't that difficult to do, but this was uh, the hardest part. Um, up in there, I had to create a uh, a coupling from this to the uh, gear. Um, there's a gear in there, uh, which again really wasn't hard to do. Um, I did it on my lathe, uh, and then I welded it onto the rod, uh, turned the rod to the, you know, it was all centered. I uh, created this pipe thing, uh, and yeah, put it in there. So I uh, also put some uh, air jacks to uh, help support the Z motor a little bit, give it a little easier um, uh, to go up and down. Uh, as for the motor itself, uh, I'm just using a VFD drive connected to 220 and then uh, that can, uh, runs this motor which is three phase. Uh, otherwise, I, uh, well, I'll get into that later. Uh, and then finally the electronics. So again, I'm using Linux CNC. Um, I've tried many different uh, uh, CNC software. This seems to be the uh, uh, one of the best. Uh, the only issue is, so I'm using what's called a MESA, M-E-S-A card. Um, this is the card. And the information, it's a MESA. There you go, you see? MESA 7i96S. And here's the problem with MESA. So, absolutely great software, absolutely great boards. I want to say the Linux CNC community is really fantastic. Linux CNC um, 
people, people who are in the community, are absolutely fantastic. But I'm absolutely sorry you and your entire fucking community are retarded. Here's the problem. Here's the whole problem with this entire system. This whole system and every all the work that Linux CNC use, uh, you know, coders and all, uh, you know, and I guess you could say engineers, right? Community, pretty much all the work that the community has put into that card and this software means absolutely nothing if you can't buy that card. That card is sold out 99% of the time. You you just can't buy a card. It's in it's just so frustrating. It's just so frustrating. And there really isn't any other like a solution. Um that at least that like I've researched into this so so well. Like some people try to buy some other cards and hack them. They have to like flash the firmware and like solder wires into it. I've tried that, it didn't really work. Maybe it's just because my card was old and it broke. I don't know. But the point is that like it's just ridiculous that like we have this great software beautiful software i love this software i love editing in it there's some things I, I have critiques about the instructions for it is absolutely terrible but you know i love it you, you you'll, and most important thing is if you ask on the forum for help uh there's lots of great people that are willing to help right but <laughs> It don't mean nothing if I can't buy the card and actually build a machine like this. So, you know, like I want to, I don't want to convert this to uh, CNC, and I'm not, I'm kind of stuck because um, I'm not really sure what to do. Um, right now, I'm using a parallel board uh, to connect to this. So, this is what a parallel board is. But the problem with that is. Uh, the feed rate back to the machine isn't high enough to be able to uh, detect this properly. Um, though it does work, to be fair, it does work pretty good. I'm really happy with that. It's just at higher speeds, it won't work. Um, but I don't know. So far, it's working. I'm I'm okay with that. Um, the, the, the that's kind of the good thing about um, uh, Linux CNC is a breakout board. But here's the thing: if you're gonna go to a breakout board or even this, you might as well just go with this software which i've explained uh in another video which is uh what is this uh fluid nc this is fluid nc you can get a arduino board you can get an mks you can get so many different types of boards and just you know wire it up and easily flash it in and you can control it from your cell phone you could it, it, you don't need an entire computer because that's one problem with linux cnc is not only do i need that controller card which costs like 150 dollars but i also need this uh, computer. All right, this is a small computer, um, but I had again. You need a, some something with very high gigahertz. Uh, uh, so Linux CNC is really really good for high precision, especially lathes. Again, with a lathe, you need you know it to go very fast, and there's a lot of indexing. So that makes sense. Linux CNC is really good for that. But for lathes and plasma cutters and stuff like that, uh, just go with Fluid NC. That's that's my biggest suge suggestion. Uh, second suggestion is, uh, well, I guess the two issues I have I, I have with this machine. First issue is the spindle. So the spindle, um, I have to change every single time, right? So it uses what's called R8 collets. So this is the R8 collet, and it slides in, has a little key and a screw has a bolt on the top that you bolt on and that tightens it and pretty much grips it. That takes a lot of time and most importantly is every single time you need to uh, reset the Z height, which to be fair, isn't that hard to do, uh, especially since you could just go like this and adjust it. Um, but still, it's it's not fun. Um, Especially, you know, when you're seeing the whole point of CNC work is to automate it. I don't like to stand here and watch it. And here's the second, honestly, but I could deal with that. That isn't too big of an issue. But the biggest issue I have is there really isn't a enclosure for it. And as you see, there's a lot of mess that it creates, uh, especially when you're cutting stuff in parts. And I just hate it, especially when I'm cutting metal and there's little, you know, needles and stuff and they get in my socks and just not fun. Um, the solution to that is obviously to build an enclosure. Um, but I don't really want to do that since I don't, I, I just, I don't know. Here's my solution. Here's my theory. If I was to do this all over again, um, I would have simply bought a used old CNC mill that's already includes, 
and close that already has automatic tool changer that automatic that already has everything right it already has the ball screws everything and simply rewired that okay because if you think about this i spent 750 dollars for the machine uh these separate motors they're like 150 bucks each so there's three in total so that's like 450 bucks so we're over a thousand dollars already the uh, controller board is 150 bucks that uh, controller that computer is 150 bucks um that power supply to convert to well this never mind, ignore the power supply that's uh, separate um plus monitors and stuff like that little things like that um you know it's just it adds up and i probably easily almost especially most importantly my time if you can count my time easily easily over two thousand dollars for two thousand dollars you could easily buy a used uh, C uh cnc mill uh that has very old electronics or broken electronics and the problem with those uh you could the people are throwing them away at for scrap value 500 bucks uh you could typically find them and the problem and the problem with those machines is since the electronics are so old nobody really knows how to fix them and uh this trade of being able to convert cnc machines is a very very niche and rare trade that very few people are able to do i've had lots of companies offer me a lot of money in order to con convert to him uh cnc machines so if this is a job you want to get into this is a very easy job uh to get into is to convert you know old cnc machines or broken cnc machines into new ones or you know pretty much fix them up because a lot of uh, companies they have hundred thousand dollar machines again i'm talking from experience this isn't speculation this is from experience i i know many companies that have old CNC machines and they're like, man, please, can you please convert this for us because, like, it's just sitting around and doing nothing and, you know, like, we, we, we need to get it working. The, the, the software, the, the controller board on it is, like, uh, 15, 20 years old and there's no one working on it. Even five years old, like, you know, companies die out very quickly and, you know, there's just no one to work on it no one to fix it, no one to code it. So, yeah, that's my best suggestion is to simply buy uh, a... Use CNC machine and fix that up. So, learning lesson. Hope you can learn somewhat from this. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, I'm happy with it. Uh, it's it does a pretty good job. Um, I've you know put the, done done a lot of things that uh, without it I would had not been able to do. Um, I just wish I went up about it differently. If you also do want to buy this machine, I'm planning on selling it. So, yeah, I also got this excavator. Uh, I finally got fixed up and working. I've been using this a lot, uh, running it around, uh, moving stuff. I got to connect the jaw for the buckets. Um, but yeah, I really love this excavator. I put a lot of time into it. Um, I'd say I'm 50-50 in terms of my happiness with it. Um, it has a little bit issues with the controls. It's a little jittery. Uh, I need, uh, that's typically just air in the lines probably. So I need to purge the uh, air in the lines. Otherwise, uh, uh, I also want to redo the valves. If I redo the valves, I pretty much have a brand new excavator. That engine's fully rebuilt. That pump is rebuilt. Uh, all these hoses are brand new all the seals on the uh, rods are ran, uh, brand new i even had this uh re-chromed on uh these three rods so this is pretty much a brand new motor i just a uh, brand new excavator i just need to replace uh this track is in really good tra shape i just need to replace one track and uh i mean other than that i'd say the only other thing that isn't brand new or i'd say i'd want to replace is the uh, hydraulic motors and the control joysticks um maybe that will help with the jittering but other than that again it's such a great motor it's such a uh like it's such a great uh, machine that like everything on here is brand new brand new radiator brand new um everything i overkilled on the radiators uh, but yeah so hope you like this channel hope this uh these videos helped you out a bit uh, i got that skits here to work on next and also i'm gonna uh, announce pretty soon on uh building my own electric excavators from scratch so uh, subscribe if you're interested in that and stay tuned i'm also going to upload more videos about the uh, electric metal uh, gold refining project